Hello fellow RVers, this is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. So where has freedom brought us? Well, we are here at the frozen Arctic tundras. Not really, but it is 34 degrees. And we are close to New Orleans, Louisiana at a state park called St. Bernard State Park in the St. Bernard Parish. It's that way, we're gonna do a tour and let you see what this cold park is all about. The big gloves. <laughs> we have pulled out the big gloves. Yes. And right straight ahead there, you see the check-in station. Thank you for visiting Louisiana State Parks. And we're going to head up the road. All right, entering the park right here, you have a little short drive to get to a T in the road. And what is today? Today is Christmas Eve. Yay! Woohoo, it's so Christmassy. To the left is a campground. And to the right is are the picnic area, splash pad, day use area. So we're gonna go to the right. Small campground, small park. A lot of swampy areas. Thank goodness for the cold. Knock those mosquitoes down, right? Really, we only had one uh, day with mosquitoes, and that's because Mr. D left the door open. But I we don't know haven't. Where they came from. Yeah, we haven't seen any mosquitoes. They must have just been like their last hurrah. Get out and do stuff, y'all, before the cold weather comes. Yeah. Because it was right before the cold snap. And we hadn't had any before. It was just that one time. Splash pads right there to the left. Pavilions, picnic area. Well, let me pull in there. So we'll get a closer look. There we of course, this splash pad is closed on Monday. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to go splashing today, no. but there you go. It doesn't even look wet. It looks refreshing though when you see the kids all out there playing. They have nice covered playground. That is good. The one that uh, campground is that way too. Hey, there's a picnic area, pavilion. There's looks like there's more straight across there. Almost looked like a this golf course over there. There's supposed to be some lagoons around here. Yeah. We have not explored much because we have been spending our time in New Orleans. So, not a lot of park exploring going on other than dog walks. There's the sun. Yep. Thank God for the sun, right? Well, we're going to walk across that bridge with the puppies and check it out. Look all the everything's melted on the little water areas. And there you go. There's what's on the other side. There's a little bit better look at the the fun area. All right, leaving the day use area. So we're just going to head back to the campground now, show you the road getting there, and then we'll show you the sights. Pool? Well, it's not open because that's a blocked road. Do not enter. the jump station. Closed at night right now between 9 p.m. and 8 a.m. due to the cold weather and here's the campground. Okay our tour starts here at our campsite. We are site number 19. There's our neighbor's site 18 right there. We have a picnic table, fire ring, grill, nice yard, and we're right next to the nature trail. Right there is site 20. 
some of these are store sites. Ours is not. Wah. <laughs> Site 21 is right there. These are electric and water sites. And there is a the nature trail. It is one mile, one way. So two miles round trip. What'd you see in there, honey? You don't even know. Oh, it's our friend. <laughs> Come on, girls. Site 22 is right there. And site 23 is right there. 24. And nothing on this side for a minute. We are enjoying the last of the moderate weather here before the freezing temps come. Site 25. Is that site there? What is this? 51 campsites, right? Total. I believe so. And there's a, a site over there, kind of before us, probably, s I don't know, 16. We'll see it in a minute. I just noticed in their picnic tables way over here. <laughs> That's how far away that was. Mm -hmm. Site 26. I like it when they put the numbers right there by the sides so you're not trying to figure things out. Oh, there's another puppy. And another puppy. Site 27. Site 29. Site 30 is right there. Site 31. Site 32, where the fifth wheel is. This one right here. And Site 33. There's a lot of people in these sites, so we're not taking pictures of people. Site 34. And that looks like a little path to the um, bathhouse behind 34 right there inside 35 beautiful sky today love it site 36 is a nice empty site for you so that's it pavements kind of narrow 37 to our left and 39 I mean to our right 37 to the right 35 back there where Mr. D is and 39 right there 38 to the left no parking on the grass you don't want to anyway because it's wet and mushy. 41 to the right and 40 to the left. On this side they have trash cans handy. On our side we have a, a dumpster. Extra parking is right there. It's like 42. There. Forty-three is right there. Forty-three. And forty-four is right there. If your dog goes, pick it up. I do. Forty-four. And it's forty-three's picnic table there. So they're not always convenient to the campsite. I mean, it works for us. 45 is right there. Just past 44. So 44, there are picnic tables over there. But I guess 
they pulled in should back in and it would be fine this is a host site and this is site 46 that host site is site 47 and site 48 straight ahead so this is kitty cat corner we saw a cat here before 49 is right there and 50 is right over here nice empty site 51 is right there and then we have a little break for a minute while our dogs smell the grass do 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 Moving on, if you go to the right, it will take you to the exit and the Deus area, but we're going to carry on to the left and straight ahead is a dumpster and site number one. Now also back to the right is the dump station. So most of these sites are non-sewer sites. So there's a dump station back there. But some are. We'll try to point those out to you. But for sure, we'll tell you which sites in the wrap-up. So site number one is right there. Site number two, right there. 50 amp and water. But when you are reserving, you want to look for premium sites if you're interested in sewer. Site three is right there. And site four. Smell break. <laughs> site five. Okay, site five, right there. And site six is to the left. We are at park police is going around because we've got freezing temps. Well, it is going to be cold in the morning, but and site seven. Come on, Luna. Right there, and there is a bathhouse with a laundry facility. Very nice. We've used it, and they use the app. What's the app? Pay Ranger, so efficient. There are trash cans. And site eight, an ADA site. And site nine, right there. Look at that site. Lovely. Oh, hey guys. Um, showers are nice too, by the way. Site 10 is right there. <sighs> We're almost back to 19. 10. A rare empty site. Okay, let me try to catch the... So that site we just passed, that ADA site. What site was that, honey? 8? It is a sewer site. Site 11's to the right. Folks are out. And that's another sewer site right there. Site 12. Site 12 right there. There's a playground. There, a nice covered playground. Twelve store site. Thirteens to our left. There's some folks out. Fourteen is right there. I know there are trash cans right here. And site fifteen is right there. 
It's like 16s right there where that RV's backing in. And this is what's on this side. Just swamp. And there's a site that I pointed out that had the picnic table way behind it. That is site 17. Um, and site 18 is right there. I think there's like six sewer sites. We'll cover those in the wrap up. 18. And then there we are again at 19. And there's 20, our neighbor. And that is a tour of the campground. It is a very friendly campground. So that was our tour of uh, St. Bernard State Park here in St. Bernard Parish of Louisiana, about half an hour, say, from New Orleans. And this park was a, a good park for us. There's, there's 51 sites. Uh, you might want to check the, the, the web when you book, because I think the sewer sites that they do have here say premium site. Yes, they are and labeled. The others here. are um, improved. Yes, and they're on the inside loop. Right. And there's what, about six of them? There's, there's something like that, but they yeah. do have some sewer sites here. We have 50 amp with a 50 amp and, and water at the sites. Mm -hmm. We have a nice asphalt pad and uh, we were level. I got a picnic table here. We got a fire grill over there. We got a big slab here. We got we got loads of room here. Woods around us. There's a swamp back over here. Yeah. But no mosquitoes. No mosquitoes. It's a nature trail is right behind us here. We're on site uh, 19. That doesn't mean there's not mosquitoes. It right. just means there's not mosquitoes right now. Right now. Just want to be clear. Because it's like 30 degrees. Yeah. So we just had went through a couple of hard freeze days, but we survived. Yeah, we were here during the great freeze yes. of Christmas. Yes, the great Christmas freeze of 2022 as it will go down in history. Right. We but survived. we survived. We had two space heaters and we, we kept pretty good. We're on that 65 to 70 degree range. Yeah, we inside, were comfortable. So we're all right. Nothing froze up. Uh, You've got the, uh, like you saw, the, the, the day use area. There is a splash pad there, which obviously wasn't in use at this time of year. The last park we left, or two parks ago, whatever it was, the splash yeah, pad, was, pad was being used at that park. And the weather was... And the weather was a lot a little, nicer. Yeah, a little bit warmer. So you do have that going on. There is one section closed that says it has a pool. I know nothing about that section because it was gated off. Right. Yeah, it's not a very big park here. But it's a great base camp for New Orleans. Yes. So, um, like we said, there's, the showers are nice. We use the showers. Um, no problem with the showers, facilities, uh, hot water, and privacy, and all that stuff was good. Mm -hmm. You can walk your dog around all the places here, the, the hard, hard roads, and on the trail if you choose. And they have a laundromat. They yes. have laundry facilities that uses the Pay Ranger, Pay app. Ranger app, which makes it super easy. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we went to that laundry mat. I spent an afternoon doing laundry, getting caught up. Because <laughs> sometime or another, you have to do laundry. Right, and we don't have a sewer site. We so. don't have a sewer site. If we do, we would use our own washer and dryer, but we don't want to fill up our Or tanks. Mr. D could like take the tote back and forth. I could, but it was 26 degrees. <laughs> and we don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's that. Now, that's about it for the camp. The campground, but it is a nice campground, as we said. But you're probably a little um, less than 30 minutes here from downtown New Orleans, the French Quarter. It's like a 25-minute ride, and you're and you're right there. It's an easy ride, easy ride, right to it. Yes. And uh, we did frequent New Orleans on three different days. We did one day of trolley riding and sightseeing. Mm -hmm. Back the next day, did a steamboat ride, lunch, lunch steamboat ride. They do have yeah. a dinner ride it too. It was great. We did. We rode the Natchez. Yes, Steam the Natchez steamboat. It's uh, six miles up one way. They come back, go a mile or so up the other way, then bring mm -hmm. you back. It's a two-hour tour. It's very nice. Very but nice. it was very nice. It's three decks. They have a, a jazz band playing on one of the decks. And they got like, of course, they got like uh, bars, I guess, on each deck. And they have a snack bar on one of the decks if you don't yeah, want to so do lunch. so if you lunch. don't do lunch, there's plenty of, to you eat. You can get your hot dog, chili, <laughs> ice cream, poor stuff boy. like that. Yep, poor boy. So, um, and then the next day... Uh, we actually split up, and it was like 26 degrees that day. 
and I chose to go inside the World War II Museum and, and visit that for the day. I spent like four hours in it. It's five buildings. Each one's got like three floors, and they've got a restaurant in there and a coffee bar at one at one place. I could have spent eight hours in there, or maybe two days, because it's yeah. it's such an it's amazing really nice. place to go. And I would recommend anybody going there that came here that wanted to see something in New Orleans. Now, while I was doing that in 26 degree weather, she decided she wanted to spend the day outside <laughs> riding trolleys and visiting cemeteries. So. I'll let her fill you in on her little excursion day. Well, I wanted to go see the cemeteries there in New Orleans, and I walk, wanted to walk around the French Quarter a little bit more. So I did ride the streetcar, the St. Charles streetcar, which is the, one of the original streetcars. I forget how old, but it was one that we missed on our first uh, day there. So I rode that streetcar, and then I headed out to the cemeteries, but it took a really super duper long time, and when I got out, it was cold, so I was able to take a few pictures and see the cemetery. I don't know even which one it was, but it's really cool because all the graves are up off the ground. I mean, they're in vaults off the ground. They have to be because New Orleans is below sea level. And they're very, uh, there's a lot of you know, statues and engravings and things like that. So I'll have to come back another time when it's not so cold, but I did have a good time. And then I went and had lunch in the French Quarter and walked around a little bit more before I headed back to meet Mr. D. Yep. It was a good day. And I learned that there's 99 pumping stations throughout the city of New Orleans mm -hmm. to keep the water out because it's below sea level, so it stays dry. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Now, I'll say something else about New Orleans in case you're interested. And the sun is right there in my eyes. I don't know. But anyway, we used, on day one, <laughs> we used a, a parking garage called Solaris Parking. It's a valet parking garage. You pull in there, and um, they park your car, give you a ticket. And it's real handy for walking the French Quarter. Now, on day two, two we used a parking called Premier Parking. And we actually premium. have premium, it's premium parking. And they got parking garages all over New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And we put the app on our phone to make it easy. Right. We stayed at parking lot 404, which yep. is right by the steamboat. Right by the steamboat. And there's also a app you can put on your phone for the trolley rides and mm -hmm. uh, ferry. And I think the bus. I think it's all included mm -hmm. in the New Orleans transportation app. Right. You can ride all day for $3. Right. Uh, seniors or less. You're right. Now on day three, I parked at the World War II parking garage, which is not free. None of them are free. And so I parked on there. $25, dollars $20, or more. Yeah, you're looking between $15 to $25 to park. Right. So I parked right there at the World War II garage. It's multi-stories, and it's, it's right across the street from the World War II buildings because there's like I said there's right five there. of them mm -hmm. they're all interconnected except for one so once you go in you don't have to go out and cross streets you go up elevators and go across catwalks so that's kind of neat about it so anyway so we used um, Solaris parking premier parking and then we used the World War II parking garage in case you guys start looking for parking and garages. no matter where we parked it was all about what $25 ish. yeah it was yeah. 15 at the World War II for the time I was there and I don't remember the others okay there is an early bird special though if you get there before nine in a lot of these lots and out by seven I think you might want to check on that but it's like eight dollars it's, it's considerably a, less it's a lot less but we didn't that's get there if you're before. an early bird yeah I think the dogs are not early no, our birds. Our birds are not early. <laughs> no. So anyway, that might save you a little bit of money, but um, yeah, just plan on parking. One more word about New Orleans. Okay. There are tours for anything. There's a hop on, hop off tour. There's walking tours. There is a bus tour. And there's, I don't know. I don't know what all, ghost tours. So just pick your poison, whatever you yep. would like to do. And they probably have a tour for that. And enjoy. Yeah. Because we tried, we tried those baguettes. What do they call them? Beignets. Beignets. Yes, we did. It's a, it's a, it's a donut. Yeah, it's a donut. It's a tasty donut. It's, it was good. Yeah. It, I mean, it's we if had you to come try here, one, you have though. to have the gumbo. You have to have the beignets. She had gumbo. Yeah, I did, and it was good. I was in the uh, World War II museum, and I just had to go there and have a bomber burger. 
while I was in there because that's what they call it a bomber burger. <laughs> it was a good burger too. All right. All right. So enough that's of that. New Orleans. Yeah. Moving on. So for our Verizon services, we had five Gs and three bars. Works great. Works great for the, I guess for all of for me now. I think uh, this Did, editor here was having a little issue well, earlier. We have an upload going on today, but little today anxiety. is Christmas Day. So it's very slow today, slower than it's been being, but it could just be the congestion and the, with the provider. It's being naughty, not nice. <laughs> and Merry past Christmas, by the way. Yes. This will be after Christmas, probably after New Year's. So. This is actually Christmas day right today. Yes, it is right now. So I guess with all that being said, right, we're getting done. I think we're done. I think we're done. So, um, Click like and subscribe, of course. Uh, follow us on our journey. Uh, next, we're going to Alabama to a park called Mayer State Park. It's down mm -hmm. there by the Gulf. And that's they got the battleship and submarine there that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. So anyway, we like looking at freedom. Safe travels. Take care. Gary and Sharon. Bye. Bye.